Okay, so I just scarfed some pizza, and here we are on part two. <laughs> okay, so with the knit, we're going to keep going. Numb vertices, and we're going to... See, we no longer need that variable, so that's great. We don't need any of this stuff. Okay, great. So we just need a loop like this. Copy it. Go back up to the init function. Excuse me again. Okay. <coughs> so if I is less than 13, they're all less than 13. Whoa. There's no need for the else. Taking that out. Everything moves in. Don't need this because we're all logos here. Loco, more like it. <laughs> okay, switching this to this. That was funny. Okay. System. Do we use logo position? I forget. Is moved. Yeah, we use that. Whoops. What am I doing? There we go. <coughs> this word is it logo position. So do we use that? Yeah, we do. So we're fine. Keeping it in there, everything's good. So far, I think we're good. Let's comment that out now down here. It's going down here. Might as well just delete it, but. Save as we go. Okay, and then the init, we do the buffer. What part of this are we actually gonna put in the uh, I don't know. For now, though, we're done. We're done with the initialization of the logo. See, so creating the buffer, and then binding the buffer, and then taking the... Yeah, we need this in my init. So let's see if we can just copy this to the init. Okay. Right up here. Create vertex array buffer, bind it, and copy data to it. Okay, num buffers, buffers, GL array buffer, buffers, array buffer, GL array size of this vertices. This vertices, there we go looking terrific. Okay, comment that out. <laughs> okay, shaders, shader info, GL use program, vertex or trib pointer. So this is all just to set up the vertex array object, which is bound right here. Gen vertex array, bind vertex array. Oh, we should probably put this <coughs> We're going to leave that, and then we'll take this with us into the beginning of the init function. Hello. But actually, we haven't needed it until now, so let's just put it right here. Okay, create vertex 
array object and bind it. Lines What have we done? What have you done? Let's put all this at the top. Instead of lines, we're going to say logo for the VAO. And then area buffer, we're going to call that logo area buffer. Num VAOs, num buffers, that's fine. So lines, we're going to call this logo. Oh, my bread's ready. Hold on just a sec. Actually, let me just pause it. We'll have a part three. Stay tuned.